Hey guys, Julia here from The Curly Girl Creates. I'm here to show you how to transform this boring tree into this adorable tree. So I was at Joann's the other day. They had a huge sale and I picked up three of these trees, but very boring. So what I did was got some snow flock. This is snow flocking powder. You need a flour sifter to apply it and a spray bottle just filled with regular water. You're gonna take your tree and you're gonna saturate it with the water. Okay. Bear with me while I set this up. Take the flocking powder, pour it into the sifter. And you're gonna sprinkle it over the tree. This is why you wanna do this outside. It's very messy. And you control how much you want. You don't want a lot of powder, you don't need to put a lot. Okay, and that's it. Now you just have to let it dry. And you need about 24 hours for it to dry. Now we're inside, and now I'm gonna show you how to put this uh, burlap sack around the base. Um, so we waited 24 hours for it to dry. Actually, this is a different one. Um, you're gonna take a, well, I used a 12 inch square. Place it over the burlap and trace it out. Okay, you're going to cut the burlap. Now, when you use burlap, I like a little of it to be frayed, but you don't want it to continue fraying. So what you're gonna do is you are going to find where, find the length that you want it frayed. I usually come in like three stitches. Put a pin, just take the safety pin, put it through the hole and pull up on it. Do that on all four sides. Go in three stitches, should be the same on each side. Pull up, pull it out. Pull up, pull it out. Up and out, okay? Very simple. Now, to stop the edges from fraying, you wanna add some Mod Podge just to the tips. So with a little applicator sponge brush and some Mod Podge, you're just gonna apply it to the tip, just like that. And you don't have to worry because this goes on white, but it, when it dries, it's gonna be clear. You will not see it. And be very generous with it. I know it looks like a gluey mess right now, but you'll see it will dry clear and your edges will be nice. Okay, again, you want that to dry for about 24 hours. So I went ahead and made one so that I can complete 
the project and show you how to just apply it to the base. You're going to put your tree in the middle of the square. You want to cut the ribbon. And just bring up the corners and gather it at the base. Bring up all the corners like that. Gather it at the base and you're going to tie your ribbon. Tie it nice and tight. Okay, and now you're going to fluff out the corners. I'm just going to fix it so that they all stand up. And there you have it, cute little tree.